Good afternoon. My name is Stuart Young, and I'm a program manager in the Tactical Technology Office at DARPA. My research interests include intelligent behaviors for unmanned systems, field robotics, and the application of autonomous capabilities to conduct military missions. Today, I'm excited to talk to you about two programs that were run by my colleague, Dr. Tim Chung, Offset and Subterranean Challenge. I've known and worked with Tim from before both of our tenures at DARPA and share his passion for developing and advancing capabilities for getting robots to operate in a complex world. The underlying theme of both of these programs is how do we get robots to operate in a real world environment where we're replete with variety of textures and situations that we don't necessarily expect to encounter. The field of field robotics is rapidly maturing, but we still have a long way to go. Offset and Subterranean Challenge were designed to push the limits of what is possible for robots operating in these complex environments, specifically here, urban and subterranean spaces. So the first program, Offset, I'd like to talk to you about sought to discover technologies that would enable large-scale teams of air and ground robots to support small unit forces, small teams operating in complex and urban environments. The focus here was on large scale. Some people talk about these as swarms. We're talking over 100 vehicles, heterogeneous air and ground robot systems, operated by one person. Offset was interested in how do we take commander's intent and translate them into swarm tactics in order to complete a mission. The second program that Tim ran was Sub-T, or the Subterranean Challenge. Here we leveraged the DARPA Grand Challenge model to discover technologies that will enable actionable situational awareness across diverse underground environments, such as tunnel systems, underground urban complexes, natural cave networks. Essentially, Sub-T was an underground scavenger hunt but it was a high-risk scavenger hunt, where it might be too risky to send in first responders or uh, disaster response personnel, but we could send in robots to get a little bit of situational awareness about what's happening underground, such as getting the lay of the land, understanding some of the risks, and locating survivors. In recent years, global investments in the area of field robotics have driven the need for competitive systems that serve our nation's military needs. Two DARPA programs that directly address this issue were the Offensive Swarm-Enabled Tactics Program, or OFFSET, and the DARPA Subterranean Challenge Program, also known as SUB-T. Both programs sought to move field robotics technology forward in innovative ways by fostering key technological advancements and concepts, as well as forming new industry partnerships. The goals of the Offset program is to enable a capability that will allow upwards of 250 air and ground robots to support our small unit infantry forces in complex urban environments. We can leverage the emerging technologies in swarm autonomy and human swarm teaming, bring those two together to enable effective use of these new swarm technologies. Within the Offset program, the goal was to design, develop, and deploy an open architecture for swarm technologies, both in the physical and virtual environments. Each of these systems would include the following. An extensible, game-based architecture for enabling the design and integration of swarm tactics. A swarm tactics exchange to foster community interaction. Immersive interfaces for collaboration among teams of humans and swarm systems. And a physical testbed to validate developed capabilities. Two performers also referred to as swarm systems integrators, were selected to turn the offset vision into a reality. Northrop Grumman Mission Systems developed the Rapid Integration Swarm Ecosystem, or RISE. Raytheon BBN Technologies developed the Command and Control of Aggregate Swarm Tactics System, or CCAST. Both of these architectures were made accessible to a wider swarm technology developer audience, known as Swarm Sprinters. DARPA selected 35 total Swarm Sprinter teams over the course of five sprint events, each lasting six to nine months. 
During these events, sprinters would integrate thrust-specific swarm innovations and advancements into one or both of the offset architectures. A robust library of swarm tactics, or plays, was created. These could be used to translate a swarm commander's intent into algorithms that an autonomous system can understand. Each of the swarm tactics are built from a number of primitives, or behaviors, which are themselves compilations of algorithms or skills. By design, a swarm commander could customize what tactics were needed based on mission requirements by choosing from the library of skills and behaviors. The offset program followed a design, build, test, learn cycle, where the performers were evaluated every six months in large-scale field experiments at urban military test sites. At each field experiment, the offset swarm was tested in a representative mission to find and secure items of interest while avoiding hazards and maintaining situational awareness of a dynamic environment. In total, offset conducted six field experiments, each with a mission of increasing complexity and difficulty. By developing the swarm tactics solution, offset was able to overcome the challenge of a single commander controlling swarms of hundreds of robots as well as addressing the need for swarms to operate in complex urban environments. The DARPA Subterranean Challenge is an opportunity for us to innovate new technologies that allow us to explore complex underground environments. One of the main impacts of the DARPA Subterranean Challenge is that the technologies that we create will allow for first responders, incident commanders, warfighters, and their commanders to understand the environment before they have to send in humans in harm's way. Current technologies fail to address the multifaceted nature of these environments, which presented both a need and an opportunity for breakthrough innovations for public safety scenarios, as well as a wide range of military, academic, and commercial applications. In New York City, with the fire department, we have many challenges in the underground subterranean environment, whether it be uh, a train fire, a terrorist incident, or just a derailed train. We don't get that situational awareness of what's going down in the tunnel, what's happening, uh, until we get some firefighters down there. The DARPA Subterranean Challenge aimed to bring together multidisciplinary teams and cross-cutting approaches across disparate fields to address the autonomy, perception, networking, and mobility needs of the subterranean domain. Potential representative scenarios involve rescue efforts in collapsed mines, post-earthquake search and rescue in urban underground settings, and cave rescue operations for injured or lost spelunkers. These scenarios present significant dangers that would preclude employing a human team, such as collapsed and unstable structures or debris, presence of hazardous materials, lack of ventilation, and potential for smoke and fire. To effectively respond in these scenarios, robots must be capable of providing time-sensitive situational awareness, exploring unknown and complex environments, providing accurate maps with geo-referenced locations of important artifacts, and doing so without the need for substantive human intervention. DARPA sought to simultaneously advance capabilities across four key technology areas. Autonomy, the ability to map, navigate, and search in complex and dynamic environments without substantive human intervention. Perception, operating under varied and degraded conditions with the dynamic range to accommodate dust, fog, mist, water, smoke, low light, obscured, and or scattering environments. Networking, robust communication solutions that address the limited line of sight, effects of varying geology, and radio frequency propagation challenges in subterranean environments. Mobility, Systems with demonstrated endurance and robustness to navigate mobility stressing and dynamic terrain features, including constrained passages, sharp turns, large drops and climbs, inclines, steps, falling debris, mud, sand, and water. Continuing DARPA's legacy of grand challenges, the Sub T Challenge sought to inspire new ideas incentivize novel approaches, and facilitate rich interactions among communities relevant to field robotics operating in complex and diverse underground environments. 
The Sub-T Challenge final event was comprised of eight systems teams and nine virtual teams, made up of over 173 participants from 11 countries and 20 universities. The Sub-T Challenge was organized into two competition tracks, systems and virtual. Teams in the systems track developed physical systems to participate in live competition and real-world representative subterranean courses. Competing in a real-world environment meant that teams would often experience unexpected interactions and results, highlighting why it is so important to test in an actual physical space. Teams in the virtual track developed software and algorithms using virtual models of systems, environments, and terrain where they competed in simulation-based events with an emphasis on expanding the technical insights obtained by leveraging the advantages of simulation. With these two programs, DARPA has helped to create additional foundational elements for future field robotic systems. We have explored how one human can command a large swarm and how teams could bring together varied approaches to explore underground terrain in new ways. Now, we ask you, what's next? I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you're working on, interested in working on difficult problems like those we showed in Sub-T sub and Offset, I hope that you'll consider working with us at DARPA and to reimagine what's possible and solve the toughest problems that our nation faces. I look forward to engaging with you further at the break by the DARPA timeline after this uh, presentation. Thank you.